from Sunnyvale, California, in the heart of Silicon Valley, it's the Cube, covering Accelerate Your Journey to AI. Brought to you by NetApp. Hi, I'm Peter Burris with the Cube and Wikibon, and we're here at the NetApp Data Visionary Center today to talk about NetApp, NVIDIA, AI, and data. And we're being joined by two great guests. Jim McHugh is the Vice President and General Manager of Deep Learning Systems at NVIDIA, and Octavian Tanasi is the Senior Vice President of ONTAP at NetApp. Gentlemen, welcome to theCUBE. Thanks for having me. So Jim, I want to start with you. Uh, NVIDIA's been all over the place regarding AI right now. You've had a lot of conversations with customers. What is the state of those conversations today? Well, I mean, it really depends on the industry that the customer's in. So AI, AI at its core, is really a horizontal technology. Right, it's, it's when we engage with the customer and their data and their vertical domain knowledge that it becomes very specialized from there. So you're seeing a lot of acceleration where there's been a lot of data, right? So it's, it's not any secret that you're seeing a lot around autonomous driving vehicles and the activity going there, healthcare, right? Because when you can marry the technology of AI with the years and years and years of medical research that's going on out there, incredible things come out, right? We've seen some things around looking at cancer cells, we're looking at um, your retina being sort of the, the gateway to so many health indications. It can tell you whether you have everything from dengue fever to malaria to whether you're susceptible to be, have hypertension. All these kind of things that we're finding that data is actually letting us to be superhuman in our knowledge about what we're trying to accomplish. Now the exciting thing is, if you grew up like we did in the IT industry, is you're seeing it go into mainstream companies. So you're seeing it in financial services where they, for years, were quants were very specialized and they were writing their own apps and now they figured out, hey, look, I can broaden this out. You're seeing it in um, cybersecurity, right? So for years, if you wanted to check malware, what did we do? We looked up the definition in a database and said, okay, yeah, that's malware, stop it, right? But now, they're learning the characteristics of malware. They're studying the patterns of it and that's kind of what it is go industry by industry and tell me if there's enough data to show a pattern and AI will come in and change it. Enough data to show the pattern. Well, that kind of introduces NetApp to the equation. Uh, a company that's been, especially more recently, is very focused on the relationship between data and business value. Octavian, what is NetApp seeing from customers? Well, um, we know a little bit about data. We've been the stewards of the data in the enterprise for uh, more than 25 years. And AI comes up in um, every single customer conversation. Um, they're looking to leverage AI in their digital transformation. Um, so we, we see a, um, this um, desire to extract more value out of their data um, and, and make better decisions, faster decisions um, in every sector of the industry. So it's ubiquitous and we are uniquely positioned to enable customers to do their data management wherever data is being created. Whether the data is created at the edge, in the traditional data center, what we call the core, or in the cloud, we enable this uh, seamless data management via the um, data fabric architecture and, and vision. So, data fabric, data management, the ability to extract that, turn it into patterns, sounds like a good partnership. Mm -hmm. Jim? Yeah, no, um, we say data is the new source code. We're really what AI is, we're changing the way software's written where instead of having humans going in and do the feature engineering and feature sets that would be required, you're letting data dictate and guide you on what the features are going to be of software. So right now we've got a, uh, the GPU, uh, graphic data processing revolution, you guys driving that, we've got some really advances in how data fabric works. You have come together and created a partnership. Talk yep. a little bit about that partnership. Well, so you know when we started down this journey and you know it began really in like 2012 in the AI, right? So when Alex Kurczewski discovered how to create AlexNet, um, NVIDIA has been focused on how do we meet the needs of the data scientists every step of the way. So beginning, you know, started around making sure they had enough compute power to, to solve things that they couldn't solve before. Then we started focusing on what is the software that was required, right? So how do we get them the, the frameworks they need? How do we integrate that? How do we get more tuned so they can get more and more performance? Our goal has always been if we can make the data scientists more productive, we can actually help democratize AI. Um, as it's starting to take hold and get more deployments, obviously we need, it, we need the data. We need it to help them with the data ingest. And then deployments are starting to scale out to the point where we need to make this easy, right? We need to take the, you know, the, 
the headaches of trying to figure out what are all the configurations between you know our product lines, but also the networking product lines as well. We have to bring that whole holistic picture and, and do it from there. So our goal and what we're seeing is not only we've made the data scientists more productive, but if we can help the guys that have to do the equipment for him more productive as well, the data scientists, she and he, can get back to doing what their real core work is. They can add value and really change a lot of the things that are going on in our lives. So fast, flexibility, simpler to use. Does that kind of capture some of the, summarize some of the uh, strategies that NetApp has for artificial intelligence workloads? Absolutely, I think uh, simplicity is one of the key attributes um, because the audience uh, for some of the infrastructure that we're deploying together, it's a data scientist and he wants to adopt that solution with confidence and it has to be simple to deploy. He doesn't have to think about the infrastructure. Um, it's also important to have a integrated approach uh, because uh, again, a lot of the data will be created in the future at uh, the core um, or in, at the edge more in, than in the core and more in the cloud than in traditional data center. So that seamless data management across uh, the edge to the core to the cloud is also important. And scalability is uh, also important because um, customers will look to start perhaps uh, simple with a small deployment and have that ability to seamlessly you know, scale. Uh, currently, the performance of the solution that um, we just announced it, it basically beats the competition by 4x um, in terms of the performance and, and capability. So as we think about where we're going, uh, this is a crucial partnership for both companies, uh, and it's part of the broader ecosystem mm -hmm. that NVIDIA is building out. How does the NetApp partnership fit into that broader ecosystem? Well, starting with our relationship and the announcement we made, um, it's should be no secret that we engage our channel partners, right? Because they are that last mile. They are those trusted advisors and a lot of times of our customers and going in and we want them to add this to their portfolio, take it out to them and I think we've had resounding feedback so far that this is something that they can definitely take and drive out. On top of that, NVIDIA is focused on, again, this new way of writing software, right? The software that leverages the data to do the things and so, we have an ecosystem that's built around our inception program, which are you know thousands of startups. Um, if you add to that the, the thousands of startups that are coming through you know Sandhill and the, the investment community that are based around NVIDIA Compute as well, all these guys are standardized and saying, hey, we need to leverage this new model. We need to go as quickly as possible. And what we've pulled together together is the ability for them to do that. So what, whether they want to do a data center or whether they want to go with our, one of our joint cloud providers and do it through their service as well. So a great partnership that's capable of creating a great horizontal platform, it's that last mile that does the specialization. Have yes. I got that right? You, you have the last mile helping reach the customers who are the specialization. Got it. The customers and their data and their vertical domain expertise and, and what the data scientists that they have bring to it, look, they're creating the magic. We're giving them the tools to make sure they can create that magic with as easy as possible. It's great, so one of the things, uh, Octavian, that Jim mentioned was, industries that are uh, able to generate significant value out of data are moving first. One of the more important industries is IT operations, because there's, we have a lot of devices generating a lot of data. How is NetApp going to use AI in your product set to drive further levels of productivity from a simplicity standpoint, so customers can in fact spend more time on creating value? So interestingly enough, um, we've been uh, users or practitioners of AI for, for quite a while. I don't know if um, a lot of people in the audience know, uh, we have a predictive analytics uh, system called Active IQ, which is an implementation of AI in the enterprise. We take um, data from more than 300,000 assets that we have deployed in the field, more than 70 billion data points every day, and we correlate that uh, together. We put them in a data lake, uh, we train a cluster, and we enable um, our customers to derive um, value in you know, uh, best practices from the data that we collect from you know, the broader uh, you know, set of deployments that, that we have in the field. So um, this is something that we uh, are sharing with our customers in terms of you know, blueprint, and uh, we're looking to you know, drive uh, the ubiquity in the type of solutions that we enable customers to, uh, to, to build on top of our joint mm -hmm. infrastructure. Excellent. Jim McHugh, NVIDIA. Octavian Tanasi, NetApp, great partnership represented right here on theCUBE. Thanks very much for being on theCUBE today. All right, thank, thank you, you for having us.